Hi, my name is Russell, and I'm a librarian at the University of Alabama. In this video, we'll be talking about how to stream movies on your phone or another mobile device using Canopy. Now, Canopy is a streaming platform known for its collection of classic films and documentaries. The University Library subscribes to Canopy for the benefit of students and faculty who might need to watch a film for a class or their own research purposes. It's one of our most popular resources, and the great thing about it is that you can use it anywhere, whether that's on a desktop computer through our website or through the Canopy app on your mobile device. So let's get started by opening Canopy. I've downloaded the app from Apple's App Store, but if you have an Android, you can download it from the Google Play Store too. Right away, Canopy will ask you if you have a library card or if you're a student or professor. Because we're connecting to Canopy through the university library and not the public library, we'll click on Find University. Next, we're going to type in the University of Alabama and select the option that says Tuscaloosa. You will then be prompted to sign in with your MyBama login. Then you'll be asked to create an account with Canopy, which ensures that you can access content that we subscribe to without going through the library's website. Fill in your name, email address, and a customized password and you're all set. Now you have access to Canopy on your mobile device. You can scroll through the different film options like you would for a commercial streaming service. Or you can browse by genre. One thing I like about Canopy is the power and precision of its search function. You can search specific subjects like modern architecture or race relations. You can also search for certain people associated with films. For instance, if you wanted to see movies starring actress Florence Pugh or movies directed by French New Wave director Jean-Luc Godard, you can search by those names. If you only wanted to see films released by certain production companies or distributors, you can do that as well. Once you've found a movie you want to watch, you can select its image icon, read its synopsis and details, and press the play button. If you decide you want to watch a movie later, you can add it to your watch list, which you can customize within the app by removing films you no longer want to watch. Lastly, if you want to tweak your Canopy experience further, you can go to your profile page by selecting the More button. Under Memberships, you can add more libraries you belong to that subscribe to Canopy. This could be your local public library, which might have films we don't have access to within their subscription to Canopy. Under Link Your Device, you can set up Canopy on your smart TV, if you happen to have Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, or Android TV in your home. A link with instructions on how to set up Canopy on your smart TV is posted in the video description below. And under Settings, you can decide whether to allow playback with your cellular data or just Wi-Fi. You can adjust the video quality so that you're using less bandwidth. And you can toggle between keeping closed captioning on or off for your videos. This option is also available when you're playing individual videos as well. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, you can call us, text us, or visit ask.lib.ua.edu to ask a librarian.